Hey everyone, how's it going? Long time no see, it's been a minute. All right, as you can see, backgrounds changed just a little bit. So I'm finally able to get the layout back up and uh, that's what we're starting. Just to catch everyone up to speed about what's going on with us, uh, we have moved out of that apartment um, and we were able to purchase our very first house. Uh, it's been about a year since we've uh, been here. Uh, wanted to settle in, there was a lot of stuff that we needed to do around the house before I was able to actually start Arcadia up again. And um, let's just say that every, everything pretty much around the house got caught up and I had a little bit of time to go ahead and start up Arcadia. All right, so that is what this video is gonna be. There's gonna be a little bit of a change in Arcadia, not so much. It's actually gonna get a lot bigger than what it was. Well, 46 inches bigger anyways, to be more precise. And, uh, but for, for the most part, it's gonna be still the same. So the one thing that we're really happy about when we pulled Arcadia out of storage was the beach scene that we ended up doing here. Let me just quickly show you guys. a Little bit of a sneak peek here of what's happening. Yeah, so uh, it survived and we are super, super happy about that. There was a little bit of casualty. Uh, one mother actually tipped over and that, but that wasn't because of storage, that was actually because of my daughter. Uh, the other casualty was, oh, the chimney stack. Chimney stack actually broke off, but that's about it. And then after, yeah, well, I'll get more into that into the video. So I wanted to say one thing especially is thank you for sticking around for the last two years. Uh, and also, I've noticed that there has been uh, an increase in subscribers uh, in the last two years as well. I want to say thank you so much for subscribing. And again, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, there is a lot to come here. Um, yeah, super, super stoked about, you know, being able to do this. And uh, anyways, enough talking. Let's go ahead, put Arcadia up and just start where we left off. All right, so the idea of what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be making more or less a floating layout. Uh, so the layout's going to be bolted or I, I should say screwed to the studs of the wall. And then on the front side, if it needs be, I will adjust the light, leg heights uh, just to give it that extra support, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to need for the middle sections here. Um, so now the one thing that I do have that's not a concern, but it's it is what it is, is that that corner of the wall right there, or that corner of the layout right there is actually the lowest part. So it actually kind of slopes down that way. Uh, but like I said, we're gonna screw everything to the studs and then on the front side of the layout, if I need to put in legs, I will adjust the height of the legs accordingly. Um, now what's happening is that on the old layout, we had this section here, that section there, then the corner, and then this one. So what's happening is that I tried putting that section in between those two sections and it, that section's actually about, I wanna say about 12 inches too long. So what I am gonna do now is this. That section is gonna be between the corner piece there, which was that big turn. And then that's gonna be connected to that piece, which means I have that section right there. It literally starts right there to there, whoops, to there. It's gonna be a new piece that I'm gonna be putting in, uh, which I'm really stoked about it. So realistically, it's gonna be, the layout's gonna go across that wall, then across to this wall right here, right about up to more or less over here. Um, yeah, the fish tank's gonna be moved, so anyways. So first things first, let's get a leveled line about how high I want the layout to be. And uh, then we can actually bolt up that section of the layout, which I'm really, 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 really excited about. All right, let's get to work.
progress done. All right, so we got this one up. Uh, threw up a leg over here, uh, needed it. It was sagging down, so kept using the level, as you guys saw. Battery died when, the camera battery died when we finished that, or when I was in the process of cleaning up. So this is what we did while the batteries were charging, at least one battery was charging. So this corner piece is up, it's level. We have another leg over here to give it support. So now what's gonna end up happening when I do that bridge or when I do the extension or the filler in here, that one's gonna be free flowing because it'll have that leg and that leg uh, to support it, to give it strength, I guess, rigidity. And as well as it will be screwed right into the wall. Uh, I've already marked out places where the drywall, or sorry, where the studs are. Uh, so next thing that I am doing is preparing this for this section here. Um, yeah, this one probably took the most beating. And there's tracks that I'm gonna have to replace, uh, as well as this one. This one, I might end up having to actually pull everything right off because it is pushed more forward and needs to go further back. Uh, which is not bad because then it's going to give this thing a bigger radius, right? So, which is going to be really nice. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and make my line with a level over here. All the way up to the fish tank. So, that way I'm prepared for myself with this. Then I'm going to use the stud finder to find the studs. Mark that stuff. And yeah, just basically keep on going. I'm really, really happy how this is turning out. So, it's turning out really nice. <laughs> like I said, it took long enough, right everyone? So, okay as we continue. update of what is going on yeah right there you can see it semi floating shelves so we got that first one in which is really happy um, here's that gap that I need to fill in uh, then here is what's going on with this corner remember when I was telling you it's a little off because this one originally was supposed to be over here uh, but now it's here. So what I'm going to do is instead of trying to move all this to fit this, I am actually going to move this to fit this. So one of the good things is, and I'm hoping that, you know, this, this little work is that we just used Elmer's glue to hold this down. So with a bit of warm water, it should loosen up the glue. So that way we can pull this off. I've done that before where I've kind of screwed up and I need to redo it. So that is the idea uh, hopefully it'll be good so basically what's going to end up happening is this is still going to stay here i'm just going to have to get a new circumference to match for this one right here and the same thing for those three on that side uh, over here we have a little bit of damage going on the worst is i think it's on this side yeah right here this whole section just came right off so I'm gonna see if I can salvage this chances are I probably won't be able to but I'm gonna see if I can and then all these little sections are probably gonna have to be replaced but that's okay I kind of expected that when I was doing this together now I'm gonna have to fill in the cracks here um, pull all this off this is all scenery and then this big section which is supposed to be the coal mine uh, that is going to go over here uh, again like I said I gotta first find out what to do with the fish tank before I put it in uh, that has to be removed and uh, yeah so far so good 
looking really good. For the most part, this layout has done really well. It has, it survived storage. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm really happy with how well it got preserved. Uh, so damages that has occurred to this is a little nick over there in the mountain. Uh, all the trees, I ended up removing it because th there were like quote unquote shedding, but they were falling apart uh, because a lot of people were hitting it uh, as well as the stack got taken off. There's a light post here that got taken off. Uh, then we have a mother right here. She got knocked over, but that was actually not because of storage. It was my daughter. <laughs> and then uh, I think there's some nicks right here. Yeah, there's a nick right there. And I think that's all that I can see. Oh, over here on the beach, the glue came apart for the wall. So, yeah. The one thing I'm quickly noticing is uh, the lack of light. I honestly thought this light was going to be bright enough. Uh, not so much. So, I'm going to look into alternatives to maybe put up on top. So these are ceiling tiles. I've seen the ceiling tile inserts, the LEDs. Uh, so it's basically a two by four and it's it's an actual LED panel that replaces one of these panels and it's a light. So I think I may go with that. All right, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, so like I said, uh, Arcadia is being put up and we're super blessed for that as well, you know, for having the house, having you guys stick around and just being able to have the space to be able to do this and even expand a little bit. Um, now, there's one thing I didn't mention in the video, but that's maybe later on that I'm playing around with. Uh, above the, the layout, above Arcadia, I was thinking about doing a shelf scene, uh, more specifically on uh, the Japanese scene, uh, something specifically for the bullet trains. I think that'll be really cool if, I was, if I'm able to incorporate uh, something like that. Um, yeah, I think that'll be pretty cool. Or uh, what is it coming with the channel? Uh, we're gonna keep forward, we're gonna keep building. Um, I have a couple of trains that I ended up getting from Rapido that ended up took like almost a year because of uh, issues that are happening in the world. Uh, that got back, uh, back ordered and I finally got it. And then also another thing from uh, ESU and I placed an order like literally, I think it was like six months before I took Arcadia down and it was maybe about, I want to say four months ago, I got it in. So it was like two and a half years, which is insane. But again, you know, everything got put back on back order and it is just what it is. But the good news is it's in. I'm able to actually do some reviews and able to implement it into the layout and give you guys my honest opinions on these products. Uh, if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead, hit that subscribe button so that way you can see the progress of the train as well as don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you are notified every time a video gets posted. And if you really like the video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Everyone, again, thank you so much for sticking around. And also for you new subscribers, thank you so much. My family and I really, really do appreciate it. Stay safe until the next time.